A new movie from EWTN tackles spiritual warfare by highlighting an ancient fight in a new way. Speak of the Devil, Spiritual Warfare examines a gradual shift from seeking holiness to becoming drawn into sin and rebellion. It was produced and directed by EWTN's Ireland office. Earlier this week, it was screened at the Vatican. Joining us now from Rome is Aidan Gallagher, director of EWTN Ireland and executive producer of the new movie. Aidan, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, talk to us about the timing of this movie and also why did you choose to do a film on spiritual warfare? Thank you, Tracy. It's lovely to be back talking with you again. Yes, the timing of the movie is, I suppose, very important because we live in a world where really anything goes. Uh, we know that in a, a large sense, the world has lost its sense of sin, its consciousness of sin. So we created this movie in order to provide people with a reset, a reset in the sense that how do you keep yourself spiritually strong in a world where anything abounds? What do you do if temptation comes your way? Uh, how do you st stay strong on a day-to-day -day basis? And if you do fall, what do you do through prayer and the sacraments to get back up again and continue on your way? Yeah. So we created this movie as a way of uh, helping people to reset through confession, to re-engage through prayer, and then to look at uh, going forward through consistent sacraments and uh, prayer and the rosary. Yeah, and I understand the movie involves kind of a twist on the old story of the prodigal son. Um, can you talk a little bit more about that and also why you picked that parable? Yeah, the prodigal son parable has been with us for 2,000 years. And we know there's a very stable structure in which to provide proper and authentic spiritual teaching and spiritual warfare guidance. So we have a number of very important contributors which speak into the fact that uh, where sin is there, where sin abounds, that there can be a tremendous conversion and good news story through forgiveness, through mercy, through love, and through the practical application of prayer and the sacraments in our lives. So, as we know, you know, Christ uh, gave us the parable of the prodigal son 2,000 years ago, and it is so important to so many families that are maybe fractured, to so many people that are maybe experiencing those types of broken issues in their lives, but provides us with a really strong, powerful structure, again, to re-engage with the Lord, get back to the sacraments through prayer and through Holy Scripture, and take up your cross and follow, uh, follow our Lord. Yeah, and as we mentioned, uh, your movie was screened at the Vatican earlier this week. Uh, how was it received? It was received very well. Uh, there were a number of interesting comments after it in the sense that, first of all, we were re-emphasizing the importance of the sword of Scripture. Uh, as we probably know as practicing Catholics, Scripture is something that we hear a lot about in our church, but there are probably relatively few Catholics on a day-to-day -day basis that will open the Bible at their home and go through Scripture and read it uh, and gain that affinity with the Lord, you know, become friends with the Lord in what uh, you're reading, getting to know Christ through the Scripture, and then be in a positive position to refute the temptations that may come your way. Like, for example, one of the things we were pointing out in the film that through the use of the sword of Scripture, Christ himself drove back the devil and defeated him on three occasions when he was tempted in the desert. And if we as practicing Catholics take the example of Christ and apply that to our own lives, surely we, sh we should be pre-prepared uh, with the knowledge of the Scripture and then in moments of temptation to reach out with that Scripture in mind and refute any temptation that, that's there. Uh, another aspect of the film that people mentioned afterwards was the emphasis on the sacrament of confession, that if you do fall uh, due to your human condition, then it's necessary to reset by going back to confession. And also, then after that, going back to Mass with the frequent reception of the Eucharist, because Christ has promised us that whoever eats my body and drinks my blood has eternal life in them. 
Uh, so it's really powerful that if we go to confession, get back to the sacraments, we are then in a position to live more full uh, Christian lives. Well, Aiden, it was wonderful talking to you. Congratulations on the movie. It is very much needed right now. Aiden Gallagher, director of EWTN Ireland and also executive producer of the new movie. Thank you again.